All right. Hi, everybody. This is Justin Rondo, the Director of Optimization at Digital Marketer. And today we're going to be going over our landing page critique checklist. All right. So right, he right here, what you see is an actual landing page for uh, a company called AppCard. But let me show you what this checklist looks like. So you'll see here, this is the 15 point checklist for our landing page audit. Um, we've broken it down into four total categories, okay? And so um, if you were really to kind of use this thing, the first thing you'd want to do is, one, put in that URL uh, for the actual uh, landing page you're looking at. If you know it's associated with a ad campaign, toss that campaign title right in there, and then throw the date in. This is just for your records. Uh, if you're working with a client or if you're using it uh, on your own site for historical records, you want to be able to hand that off to them because as we know, pages do change. Okay, and so really what we did is we've looked at a lot of landing pages here and tested a lot of them and we kind of know it works. So when you're looking at a landing page, there are more often than not a few things you need to pay attention to to, to make sure that that thing is going to convert. And we broke that into four major categories, that being offer, uh, your form and call to action, trust and visual hierarchy okay and so i've broken these down to into uh, four different options you can have there with uh, you can have an exceptional uh case a competent one needs improvement unsatisfactory so four three two or one uh and then you start looking at the the individual subsets of those main four criteria so you'll see under offer you have clarity scent relevance and visualization uh you can go down into form and call to action where you know is the form visible? Do you have the appropriate number of form fields? And then in each uh, cell, they're going to tell you what qualifies for it to be, whether in it's exceptional or an unsatisfactory. So really, you're going to be going through your landing page and truly scoring how this thing works. So let's actually take a look at, uh, at AppCard site real quick. And let's start in the offer area. Uh, and let's take a look at clarity here, OK? So um, we're going to be looking at their headline for for you know, how clear is this? Is it easily consumable? And one, the headline stands out, uh, bring your best customers back to your stores again and again. They're speaking to a desired end result of the target market. You know what you're going to be getting when you use this. And then they use the sub headline to explain a little bit more. So AppCard gives your smaller mid-sized retail business the marketing power of a big box store without costing you big box money. Uh, with a call to action, show me how to grow my business. And then I like this right here, this scroll down to, uh, to learn more. It's reminding you that there's more content below the fold, which a lot of people forget about when you have a page that uh, hugs the fold like that. But let's just pay attention to clarity here. And let's take a look at what we have um, for exceptional, competent, needs improvement, and satisfactory. For exceptional, this would have to be a clear, tightly written headline uh, and sub headline that answers what is it and what does it do for me? So. I don't exactly know what it is I'm getting, right? So I know what it's going to do. It's going to bring customers back, but I don't know what, what the heck I'm getting. So that's an issue. It's not defined as to what I'm getting here, which is kind of a problem, right? Um, the promise made in the headline is expanded upon in the subsequent content. Let's start digging down. All right, so now they, they are doing more of the heavy lifting on here, the only retail loyalty platform, okay? so. They're expanding further, but they've left kind of a mystery as to what you're getting. So they can't truly expand upon something if they aren't actually completely clear at the top. So this is definitely not going to get a four, OK? Um, and it's not compelling without being misleading or hypey. Honestly, that's a, it's, a great, it's a good headline. Um, it does need to be tightened a bit, specifically that sub headline. That is a very verbose headline there, uh, subheader. And it's just kind of more of a block of text. Remember, when you're using headlines, you need to call out things quickly. You want people to know what they get and what it does for them within seconds of viewing this page without having to think, right? And we don't quite get that here. Um, I'd actually end up giving this one probably somewhere around a two. It's a two or a three. Um, I think because they're missing that, you know, what it is at that top point, I'm going to have to give it a two there. So see how I started going through dealing with clarity there? So let's um, actually move all the way down before I, before I get into that point. But So I gave that a two, and now we want to write an action item down here. So what I tell them to do is you know, um, tighten up the headline and actually tell me what the heck I'm getting. 
right? Um, so that's, that's the first thing I'd say. And then with the subheadline, I'd remind them to also, with the subheadline, spend less, <laughs> say more with less, or say the same with less. Either way, that's something they need there. So as you're going through this checklist, make your notes down here that will actually tell you or your client or your employee what exactly to do as you're digging through this checklist. So as you start going through and scoring things out, you're going to start seeing a score accumulate at the bottom. So let's just kind of give it a faux score. So there's three, two, one, um, four. So let's, I'll just give the rest all fours so it's easy. Oops. All right. And let's get more fours there. All right. And so what you'd see here is in the final score, which is weighted based off of uh, the numbers you can get there, is a score of an 87. Obviously, I didn't score the whole page. Um, it, if you saw kind of what we were looking at before, there would be some, some other issues to dig into. Um, if you catch yourself going through lots of landing pages and seeing that like you're scoring them really high, you're probably be being a little too um, loose with the uh, the terms here. So make sure that you're you know you're you're a little harsh on yourself. You always want to be that way um, because you'll give yourself the benefit of the doubt before anything because you understand the product and the service and what you're offering. But when you have that kind of view from nowhere, like I do, where I'm sure. AppCard understands what the heck they, they're selling, but I have no idea what they're selling based off of this headline. And that's a huge problem. And I bet they don't know that right now because they're like, oh, AppCard, that's what we do. Okay, so that's what this landing page 15-point critique is going to do for you. This audit is going to be able to let you go through your page and try to ob almost objectively score it so that you can turn it from meh to marvelous. All right, uh, you should probably go download this thing right now and start going through some of your pages. Uh, also check out uh, my blog post. It's a series that I've gone through with all of the different critiques I've done for some pretty major sites. So definitely take a look at that if you want to get a better idea of how I score things or how I, how I go through this. But there is no better way to learn how to do something than to do it yourself. So download this document and really start digging into your landing pages and happy converting.